We're here at the conclusion of the first sitting of the fifth annual National Youth Parliament, where the government, led by Honorable Charlie Adar, Prime Minister, has been declared the winner of the proceedings. I'm proud of all of you, and I commend all of you for your great performance. I can see that the future of Guyana is bright, and I know that each of you, as you navigate your developmental journey, you will contribute to moving Guyana from strength to strength. At just 15 years old, Charlie has indicated that he has a passion for debating, and this passion has been improved due to him being awarded the best debater at today's proceedings. This is showing us that there is a serious need to get the international, to get these other countries on board with us. But how can we ask them to fight in the war against plastic when we ourselves have not taken any measure against it? My experience has been wonderful. I've met some very interesting people, some very good people on both the government and the opposition, and I've learned a lot. I intend to get into politics, and I intend to get into law, and mostly because um, I've always enjoyed public speaking growing up, so I believe that it's one of the best ways to use that skill to help people. Despite their loss, the award of best speaker went to the leader of the opposition, Brianna Ramnarain. We caught up with her for a few words. Having an opportunity to be a part of the Youth Parliament 2019 has been a blessing. Honestly, it has. And the experience is amazing. The second sitting of the 5th Annual National Youth Parliament will occur tomorrow, presided over by the Honorable Chelsea Pearson as Speaker. From the Parliament of Guyana with videographer Leon Leyang, I am Nikosi Bruce for InfoHub.